Hello, everybody. This is Gerald Salenti, and it's Thursday, January 4th, 2024. And here are some of today's trends in the news. And remember, the trend is your friend. And we're the only ones that give it to you. Nobody else. Don't come close. Everybody's talking about what's going on. That's it. The trend is your friend. Everybody talks about what's going on in, in Harvard. They fired the woman, blah, 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 blah. Harvard, Princeton, Yale, bullets, bombs, and banks, Cambridge, Oxford, none of them, zero, nada, teach trend forecasting. Why? They don't know how to. Oh, one of my books, Trends 2000, international bestseller. Trend tracking, far better than Megatrends, Time Magazine. Know a thing or two about trend forecasting. Been writing the Trends Journal eh, since 1991. Been trend forecasting since 1980. We're giving you what nobody else is giving you anywhere. So also, they're, you know, doing what they can to keep me quiet because they don't like what I have to say. So keep hitting that subscribe button because we're getting all these notices from people that tune in that um, uh, are saying that they're not getting that we're going on YouTube anymore. So uh, do what you can to keep the, the word out there because we're giving you what nobody else is. Truth. Yeah. Facts. So on the market front today, oil's going down again despite what's going on in the Middle East. That shows you how weak the economy is. No, it's not supply and demand because there's so much supply. Demand is falling. And we've been detailing it in the Trends Journal. Demand is off because you got to look at your manufacturing levels. That's where your demand levels coming in from. And, and they're down they're all over the place. And uh, gold prices, they went up a little bit. Gold's, you know, floating in that 250 mark, 250, 2050. But this is the year for gold. This is the year when gold gets golden. It's one of our top trends for 2024 that you're not going to want to miss. And you got to see that. We just put that out. On, on Tuesday, you're going to want to see our top trends for 2024 that are shaping the future. So what else we got here? Uh, oil, oh, crypto. Crypto went up. Crypto went up, and we say it's going to keep going up. We're bullish on crypto, gold, and silver. And the reasons why are all in your trends journal. Again, when I talk about the slowdown, President Xi warns of economic winds and rain ahead. Chinese leader Xi Jinping urged his countrymen to brace for more economic challenges. Thanks to the fucking shit that you created that fucked up the whole world when you launched the COVID war on January 2020 in celebration of the year in the, of the year of the rat. And you locked down the fucking joint for three years. You think you fucked things up big enough? And they fucked things up around the world. And all you little shitheads that don't like my language, fuck off. Because that's proper language when someone destroys your life. And you don't fight back like the gutless fucking cowards that didn't fight back when these scumbags launched the COVID war. In 2020, stand six feet apart. The wind blows exactly in straight lines and six feet. Does it go up? Does it go down? Shut down your business. Stay home. Oh, go back to shut down your business. Stay home. Remember last year was the office building bus top trend. Bankster bus this year. That's right. It's going to bring it down. All the details are here. But going back. This scumbag. Oh, and then that other little fucking prick over there in I Italy, Conti, put a U in his name. He was the scumbag that first closed down in the West. The average age of the people dying in Italy when he did this was 81 years old. So going back to oil, you got to put all things together. Because then you put the whole picture together. Oh, you think you got a migrant crisis now? These scumbags that closed down the whole fucking world, destroy the global economy, grow the fuck up. It's a whole different world. 
Oh, and I had a freedom rally that they hate me up here in Kingston for when little scumbag motherfucker, no, father fucker, my daddy was Mario Cuomo. I'm renaming the Tappan Zee Bridge after him. And you little son of a bitches that we steal your money. It's going to cost you $30 million to do that. Yeah, Andy Cuomo. I said, come down here, Andy boy, and close me down for my freedom rally that I'm having when everything was locked down. Everything. So I'm a fighter. All these people that speak properly, you're still in fucking kindergarten and your teachers are telling you what to do. Because if we had men in the White House, men in government, this shit wouldn't be going on. And yeah, I'm not being we're, 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 we're women in there. No, no. Women aren't there for a fight. Oh, you know that guy, Gaddafi? Yeah, the one that they killed? He used to brag that all his security were women. Look, I'm a close combat guy. Had my own school, black belt. Yeah, there were some great women that were fighting there. But they're not going to compare to the best guy. And we need a man in the White House. We need men in government. Look at the little scumbag you got over there with that little fucking fake hair. That little Macron that got sewn in France. Little Sudak, suck dick, asshole over in over in the UK. I forgot Boris Johnson was before him. You want to see a clown of clowns? You got the little Olaf Schultz over there in Germany. Look at these fucking shitheads. So they fucked up the world. And they're fucking it up worse. She warns Taiwanese ahead of presidential poll. He added that compatriots on both sides of Taiwan must share the glory of national rejuvenation. When all else fails, they take you to war. Watch this heat up. And no, America's not going to do anything to stop it. And number one, it's not our business. And number two, yep, when all else fails, they take you to war. It's failing there. And number two, these little fucking arrogant shits, these I'm a general, you're just a private. You fucking can't stop people coming over the borders. You're going to win a war? Who the fuck are you talking to? Oh, we're talking to the average person, Salenti. Shut the fuck up. They swallow our shit. U.S. office owners face crunch time. Yep. Oh, this is from the Financial Times. No shit. No shit. Only been saying this for three years. This was going to happen when they started locking down things. And there's your office building bust. And now it's going to be a banking bust. Yep. Commercial mortgage rates have nearly doubled. In December, U.S. economists found that 40% of U.S. loans on bank balance sheets we're underwater. Get ready for happy days are here again. The banking bust, one of your top trends. You got to look it up and see what's going to happen and what you might want to do. Ah, shipping stocks jump as freight costs sir amid Red Sea tensions. Yep. Share. <laughs> the, the big shipping company, Merzik, uh shares are up. Um, 37%. They were down on the toilet before this. You're looking at the freight course between Asia and Northern Europe soared 173% since mid-December when this thing started ramping up the Israel war. Again, the people suffer from this, just like they did when they put the sanctions on Russia. All you, you, everybody paid more for gasoline. You Europeans love it, don't you? You got fuck faces in charge. You ready? Each week now, we've been doing it for... About 66 weeks, we've been doing layoffs, saying this thing's really going to get bad. You ready? Layoffs soared nearly 100% in 2023 with employers in cost-cutting mode. Cost-cutting mode because their businesses are going down. But they don't say that, cost-cutting mode. And that's according to uh, Challenger Gray and Christmas. Uh, companies planned... 721,677 job cuts in the tech industry led it by 73%. And what does that mean? And I talk about journalism. It's fucking dead. Look at the front page story 
on the Cartoon News Network as we're going on the air right now. Look at this. Hamas held her captive for 50 days. This is what she wants you to know. All right. How about Israel holding thousands, thousands of Palestinians that they've been locking up since they launched the, since the war began when Hamas invaded on October 7th? How about that? How about showing the pictures of the mass destruction of Gaza? How about showing all the dead bodies? of what is it, about 23,000 now and another maybe 10,000 buried under rubble, 70% of women and children. This is how these scumbag fucks sell their shit. And that's why you need to subscribe to the Trends Journal. You go to trendsjournal.com. We're giving you what nobody in the world has given you, not even close. You support us, we're supporting you. If you don't support us, fine. Do what you want because that... The grand total of $2.86 a week for your magazine a weekly. $2.86 a week. The toilet paper record, $4 a day. The Wall Street Journal, $5 a day. Ah, at least 8,000 8, journalist job cuts in UK, in North America in 2023. Isn't that nice? Yep. Journal, journalism's dead. It's been dying for a long time. A crisis for democracy. Collapse of local news outlets accelerates. An average of 2.5 newspapers closed each week in 2023. All right? We're giving you journalism. Journalism is fucking dead. You got little... Little boys and girls, prostitutes, media whores that get paid to put out by the corporate pimps and government whore masters, and they do what they're told, just like CNN puts that up. Yeah, it was terrible what Hamas did. It's genocide what Israel is doing. And all you little fucks that call me an anti-Jew, fuck off. I want to occupy peace. I fight for peace. I'm a warrior for the Prince of Peace, but you don't like the warrior for the Prince of Peace, and you hate the Prince of Peace. Like all you scumbag religions that aren't out there during the holiday season, preaching for peace. Yeah. You got Lakshaw. Oh, the Quakers died in an earthquake. Seventh-day Adventists waiting for the eighth day. The Baptists waiting to get baptized. The Piscopalians? What a bunch of shit. Where are you? They're slaughtering people, genocide in front of everybody's eyes. I'm against war. So save your fucking shit. I'm not anti-American because I can't stand Americans' wars. So don't call me an anti-Semite or anti-Jewish because I hate Israel's slaughterous war. I launched Occupy Peace almost a decade ago, so fuck off. Yeah. Wall Street Journal. Yeah, yeah. donate to Occupy Peace if you want to help us. We're going to get some major rallies going. Gaza destruction stands out in modern history. Look at this. I was surprised they wrote this. Big story. The World Bank analysis concluded that by December 12th, the war had damaged or destroyed 70% of health facilities, 72% of municipal services such as parks, courts, and libraries, 68% of telecommunications infrastructure, 76% of commercial buildings. The World Bank found some 242 schools have been damaged. And we're getting Hamas. We're getting Hamas in the schools and the hospitals. They're hiding in there. They dropped 29,000 weapons in Gaza in a little over two months, according to U.S. officials. Official pieces of shit. By comparison, the U.S. military, remember, 29,000 dropped 3,678,000 in Iraq from 2004 to 2010. 
But the United States provided the weapons to destroy them. Now, this goes on. The best scenario is going to take a decade for post-conflict redevelopment, according to the Kingston University of London. That's how much they destroyed it. Yep. Robert Pape, a political scientist at the University of Chicago and author of the history of aerial bombing, said, quote, what you see seeing what you are seeing in Gaza is in the top 25 percent of the most intense punishment campaigns in history. Yes, I'm angry that people are not doing more to stop the slaughter. And I admire the Jewish people, Jewish Voice for Peace and others that are out there fighting. And that hardly gets any media of all the great Jewish people that are against us, like Norman Finkelstein, like Max Blumenthal. So don't call me anti-Jewish, you little shitheads. Call them anti-Jewish to their face. And then explosion in Beirut kills a top leader of Hamas. You know about that. Slain Hamas leader oversaw ties with Tehran and Hezbollah. Okay, you, you kill this guy, then why are you bombing all those other places? Oh, now you're ramping up the war in Lebanon, aren't you? Yep. Killing of Hamas leader in Beirut raises stakes. Israel linked to assassination is expected to increase. This is according to the Financial Times. And then... Amid escalation, Israel attacks Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon today. Today. They're escalating this, they're escalating this war because you also saw what happened yesterday in Iran when the people were at that ceremony for uh, Soleimani, who Trump killed, who Trump got murdered, all you Trump fans, what fucking right do we have to murder this guy? What right? Ah. Oh, he's going to do a peace deal with Iraq. That's right. I forgot. That's when they killed him. Hundred, over 100 people dead. Hundreds wounded. They don't know who did it. ISIS say they did the melting. But we'll see. Was it Israel? Yep. And then... To show you the fucking stupidity of the mainstream media, they put up this little arrogant fucking scumbag, John Bolton, a lovely little murderous fucking arrogant prick. He loves war, and I want to make this really clear. Anybody that supports war, put on your military drag, Pick up your gun, go over there and fight, or shut your fucking mouth because that ugly little piece of fucking scum prick Bolton never fought a fucking day in his life like Biden, like Trump, like Obama, like Clinton, like Bushy, none of them. But boy, do they love war. Bolton weighs in on who he believes is behind Iran explosion. How about Mickey fucking Mouse weighs in and spews out his bullshit that the Cartoon News Network sells you? And that's why you subscribe to the Trends Journal. Because we give the facts. We're not the frauds. Israel won't take orders from U.S. security minister. This guy, Ben Gief, security minister. Yep. And then this guy, Smootrich, he said that uh, advocated plans for voluntary migration of Palestinians from the Gaza enclave. And they're talking now in places like Congo and other African nations, poor places to take. <laughs> the United States is our best friend. But first of all, we will do what is best for the state of Israel. The migrations of hundreds of thousands from Gaza will allow the residents of the enclave to return home <laughs> and live in security to protect the IDF soldiers. Yep. Isn't that great? 
That's the guy Ben Gave. Yep. Again, Ben Gave, small trade, all you fucking tough guys, go out there and fight. Netanyahu. Hey, what is your son still down in Miami? Your boy's hiding over there? Everybody that wants war, put on your drag, go out there and fight, or shut your fucking mouth. Got it? And America is behind this murder by supplying all these murderous weapons. So make sure you pay your taxes so your money could go to the military industrial complex to keep slaughtering people. Be a good American. Houthis are want to stop sea attacks. So the United States wants them. Yep. But U.S. eyes West Africa for drone bases. Isn't that nice? What the fuck are we doing in West Africa? The West needs missiles. But makers are backlogged. World needs missiles, right? World doesn't need peace. It needs missiles so we could keep killing people. You got it. You got it. World War III has begun. If we don't stop it, finito. It's over. Smootrich, give, Macron, Katsang, Schultz, Sudak, Biden, a clown show in front of everybody's eyes, freak show for all to see. How can you be so fucking stupid to take orders and believe the shit spewing out of their mouths? If we don't have peace, it's going to be hell on earth. So please do what you can to support Occupy Peace and subscribe to the Trends Journal. We're giving you everything we can. Wait till you see your top trends. They're a winner. And don't forget to tune in yesterday. Salenti and the Judge. That's right. Judge Andrew Napolitano. Oh, a lot of people won't are gonna like what we have to say because he and I, because of the facts written in books, agree that no, no, Lincoln didn't fight, start the Civil War because of slavery. It was another issue. And of course, we don't support Nikki Haley, as he calls Nikki Haley, <laughs> Lindsey Graham on the high heels, another little warmongering freak. So check in Salenti and the judge. Thanks for tuning in. Spread the word. Thank you. At the Trans Journal, the best investment you could make because it's the best investment into your mind and you can change how you look at the world. His work is actually a gold mine. Anybody interested in politics, political trends, economic trends, social trends, cultural trends, you have to follow him. Gerald Salente. The Trends Journal is one of the greatest sources of information, and it's uh, and it really is. You're predicting these things well ahead of time. I would encourage everyone to go grab the latest copy. But a Trends a Journal subscriber for 20 years. I just have to commend you. What you guys have put together in your latest Trends Journal, there's nothing like this out there. Sir, everything that you predicted about the economy, you are absolutely right. So I, I, I have followed you all this time. So please take a look at the Trends Journal. You correctly forecast that the Fed would hike rates quite aggressively. Correctly said that initially gold and silver would drop as the Fed starts to raise rates to one and a half percent and above. When we spoke last, Bitcoin was around 49,000. You said you expect to drop and if it drops below 30, 35, then it could really drop. Trends Journal, which I would encourage people to go and check out. It's actually a 200 page document, pure data driven analysis. Gerald Salenti, the top trends forecaster in the world. Gerald, you had an interesting call back in September of last year. You said gold had bottomed, which is exactly what happened. And here we are and we're above $1,900. Subscribe to the Trends Journal. Read history before it happens at trendsjournal.com.